People often ask me, what exactly does an increase in class size mean to the students, parents, and teachers of Frederick County Public Schools? Well, an increase in class size does not simply mean that if we increase class size by one student, that there is one more student in every classroom in every school. In Frederick County, we have a formula that determines how many teachers are assigned to each school. An increase in class size adjusts that formula. So for example, in an elementary school, when there is an adjustment to that formula, a principal would have to think about how will I best meet the instructional needs of my students while having one or possibly more fewer teachers in my building. An elementary principal would take a look at each grade level and the number of students in each grade level and determine where a cut could take place. It may be that the grade level with the fewest number of students is the one that receives the cut of the teacher. In some schools, especially smaller schools, it may be that the principal needs to look at other instructional benefits in the building, such as a teacher specialist. Move that teacher specialist from his or her position back into a classroom position. That impacts students who may need additional supports. At secondary, the impact is just as great, although it may look slightly different. Again, principals have to look at where the impact will least be for the instructional program. They will look at the core programs and make sure that they are intact. That means that elective programs, exploratory programs, and programs with low enrollment may be the first ones to be cut. Overall, as you can see, an increase in class size does not simply mean one more student in a classroom. It means a great impact to the instructional programs for all of our students pre-K through 12.